It was without worms, it was happening through like bacteria and fungi. With the introduction of worms and the spread of worms by um, Europeans and colonialists, not just from other parts of the world, but from like the southern United States, um, worms in our natural areas are expediting decomposition. So they're eating things much more quickly, which has caused things like, say, more issues with like erosion in forest areas. Oh. But also it's created uh, beneficial um, situations for non-native species that are do well with the extra nitrogen. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like tip the scale. You know, just to, this is so totally different. I just remember uh, when I was in Tennessee this summer, we went to, we saw on the IMAX, um, it was a really good, I don't remember the freaking name of it, this, this little movie about, uh, from the perspective of the animals, basically, and uh, they show basically the cycle of, of the seasons, how you have the, the salamanders, and uh, and that turns into this, and, and you know, you had the, 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 um, the fox giving birth and hide in the thing, you had a... Uh, you know, just it was just so such a good thing, uh, a, a good show that I don't know if you guys uh, um, have yeah, seen no. it or I'm gonna let me let me I call my brother and ask him what the name of that is because that's really a good yeah. a good little movie. That'd be yeah. great. Let, let me know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. totally. Yeah. How about a moss? Are they healthy for the, the moss? Yeah, moss? Moss is not necessarily bad. Also, sometimes you'll see like a green, crusty stuff uh -huh. on the outside of the tree. That's lichen. That's not bad either. It's neither oh. harmful nor beneficial. What about with the soil? Is it okay to have moss in the soil? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. it's actually, uh, if anything, it's an indication that there's plenty of moisture. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's move on. And uh, if you guys down, I think we'll do some hands-on stuff. Um, it needs a new tree. No. This is, you know, hopefully someone reported it in time. If not, then maybe another few years we gotta wait. Um, and another thing, if you if you report something like this for a tree planting, if there is a stump, um, just let us know. It can be helpful because in the bureaucracy of parks, there a, it can sometimes be a different contract for the person with the right equipment to remove the stump uh -huh. and for the person who's coming in to plant it. So oh. that can trip things up. They can see that. And so then, no. I think that might give us actually an indication of what happened to this tree. It never established its roots very well. Oh. Why not? Maybe because there's poison in the soil. Uh, but, you know, thanks to the, the soil work, all the concrete. You know, maybe oh. it was, uh, it's not too compacted, so probably not that, but that. That, yeah, that, that might have been it. What the, the concrete does is, again, it raises the pH level, and that can make nutrients um, unavailable to the to the plant. Like, just the, the presence of nutrients alone may not be enough. It has to be in the right condition. It's like if um, a person is anemic, you can't just, like, eat a, can't just eat a chunk of iron to get your iron. It has to be in the right form. You yeah, know? yeah. Similarly, if the... A uh, tree is low on magnesium. The right chemical environment needs to be there, even if you you're bringing in compost, and that's what the concrete uh, threatens. What can you plant uh, like around the tree? Um, you could you could plant. Uh, Birds? Can you do that? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And we we can send you a list. We have uh, recommended stuff. Let's uh, let's move. Up. Minimum number of people, like let's say like a dozen people, um, and you set stuff up. When we may be able to bring you this truck. Yeah. We ask that you um, give at least two months' notice for us with yeah. this truck. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we use this truck for a lot of other stuff, so we can never guarantee it, but give us enough notice and we'll try to make it work um, to help you out. So, anyway, I wanted to just like introduce you to a care captain in action, uh, mulching this tree basically as, um, as an effort to try to launch tree care efforts on this block. Yeah. And if I could tell you a little about my experience, it's been pretty cool. Like, you know, I'm just like you guys, like I did some tree planting events with Jason uh, over the past couple years and then took these classes and and, um, and then I just started on my, the tree in front of where I live. I planted some flowers, Jason to help me get some mold for it. And uh, I put up a little sign and then people on the block started to take notice, you know, ask me what's going on. The kids on the block mm -hmm. started to get in, excited. And I said, hey kids, I'm a tree care captain. I can actually hook you up with swag from the parks department like you're all getting, <laughs> um, tools to do what you need to do. And if you really want, I could get the tree LC truck and we could mulch the whole block. So the kids seemed excited, their parents and grandparents seemed excited. 
And so that's what I organized today. And what's exciting about today is that like all of a sudden within the last 24 hours, it's like I've met up people on the block that I didn't know before that like came up to me like, oh, are you the person that did it that tree? And then like, um, that's what he's rolling us. She's my next door neighbor. I I did some stuff on the tree and then she put up a sign saying, um, just don't poof here to the dog owners, you know, which is, I would not have done that. But she's allowed to do that because she like lived here for a long time. You know what I mean? I'm from Manhattan. <laughs> so, I'm a city kid, but um, anyway, so um, this is your neighborhood. Your, I mean, I've lived, um, I, I've lived on this block for three years, but but but, but I lived in Bed Stuy for um, uh, like since uh, like ten years now. Um, but I'm from Manhattan. I just want to say things are changing here. A lot of guys that look like me in this neighborhood you know, from Kansas or something. <laughs> I am from New York City. I went to City West Public High School. Anyway, so um, this is a great experience. And now, like, um, all of a sudden, people on the block are, like, wanting to get involved and plant flowers and, and do the work. And so it's, it's pretty exciting. Then people from other blocks are asking me. I'm saying, look at the super sewers. So that's where you learn all the wants us to do this. Every dollar that, that uh, Park spends on trees brings back five dollars to the city. So they want to hook us up with swag for the kids and equipment and stuff. So, oh, Thanks, Sam. Thank okay. you. So yeah, so I figure this would be a good opportunity to just get some hands-on experience and also help out Sam's effort because it's definitely the case when neighbors start seeing people giving love to trees, they mm -hmm. start giving love to trees. Um, so. Dylan is going to um, equip you guys with your okay, official you care cap and tree kit, yeah. and then uh, he's going to um, get you started. Uh, we'll, we'll target the trees at the very end, which are a little bit younger. Uh, we'll just throw you in. You can hopefully the big stuff. So, so, so you can come get your toolkit, and then uh, follow Dylan over to our, our work site. Is it? Uh,